Hi everyone, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Today we are still on the topic of marketing mix, specifically on product, and we are going to talk about the product life cycle. Okay, and there are three parts to what we're going to talk about today. What is a product life cycle? What are the stages of a product life cycle? And how do these stages of the product life cycle affect the marketing activities of a product? Okay. Now, let's start with what is a product life cycle? So, the pattern of sales recorded by a product from its launch to withdrawal from the market. So, if you recall the picture that I put just now about, you know, a plant. Let's just go back a little bit. Yeah, the plant growing from a little seed up to a little tall, little small stalk to begin with, right? So, this shows growth, right? And in a business, there is also life for a product. All right, the time it is being introduced into the market to the time it continuously tried to exist before it falls off the face of the business world where we may no longer have heard of that product now. Okay, so the product life cycle is basically looking at the patterns of the product, the, its growth into the business, its introduction to the business, its survival in the business, its uh, maturity in the business before it declines, right? So this is the pattern of sales recorded by a product from its launch to the withdrawal of the market. So I think this, this diagram is pretty familiar to you because you may have covered this in class already. So there are four stages, okay? The first one is the introduction into the market. The second one is the growth. The third one is on the maturity and the fourth is on the decline. Okay, if you notice the product development stage, although it's here, it's recorded as stage zero because this is where the product is being developed, yeah? And at this point, if you notice the red line here, it is going down, right, down the, the, the timeline in the sense of, uh, you know, the sales and profits recording below normal because you'll be spending more money developing the product, right? That's where you're able to see that. Now, let's jump on to the first stage. This is where a new product is being introduced. And most of the time with any new product, um, we can expect low sales, right? Low sales, which also means low profits or maybe no profits at all because of um, the business trying to recover the cost that they spent in product development stage. Okay. And on stage two, if it's a normal product in terms of its life cycle, it is expected to slowly increase. Sales is slowly increasing because that's where the businesses is spending more money to create branding and awareness to the public so that more people know about the product and more of them would try to buy the product. And this is this correlates to sales increasing. Okay. On stage three, this is where the product is already there. Many would have already known the product. Therefore, it is expected to peak. If you can see at the top here, to peak for a while, right? Where, where it is hopefully longer than usual, where the business will try to recover all of its uh, cost as much as possible. And of course, achieving high profits here, all right? Before it moves on to the fourth, fourth stage of the product life cycle or the PLC, where you see the product is declining, it goes down, right? It goes down, right? So when it goes down, it shows that sales may also drop, okay? Demand for the product is also dropping. And that will, of course, affect the revenue and also the profits of the business, okay? So this is the four patterns of sales, okay? or in the product life cycle, from the time the product is launched into the market to the point that the product is withdrawn, right? Or no longer exist. Now on part three, we look at the marketing activities, uh, you know, being used, right? In each of the stage, okay? As you can see in stage one, there's high spending on marketing to create, uh, uh, sorry, brand awareness, okay? On stage two, you would see that in the marketing aspect, the businesses are still spending on marketing and they are really focused on protecting reputation and challenging competitors. So they may be spending a lot more than usual aggressively in marketing, trying to point out their unique selling points, right? To encourage and to explain to new customers 
existing customers or you know people who have not heard of the brand who they are okay on stage three the marketing expenses may reduce at this point of time simply because sales is high business is already pretty known in that aspect for that particular product but they will still go all not all out but they'll still be spending on marketing to maintain the brand awareness and at this time they may already start looking at extension strategies okay so what does extension strategies mean they may think of how to innovate their product better whether it's coming up with a new special limited edition design of the particular product why is to encourage even more sales and to keep the product longer in the market okay now in stage four where it is expected for the sales to decline then of course the business will look at reducing or decreasing their marketing all right expenses because sales is dropping so they may not want to spend too much money not knowing how the product is going to how long the product can remain but they may still want to focus on the extension strategies to keep it on decline or between uh, maturity and decline longer right before it completely ceases to exist okay so there you go these are the four stages of the product life cycle what the product life cycle means is to record the pattern of movements in sales right for a product and just like a the growth of a plant or a human being um well, <laughs> almost in that sense huh? uh there is um growing uh you know maturing and then eventually declining and what are the marketing activities that the business would do to encourage or to maintain the product in the market okay now yes so you know this slide it means that it's the end for today's lesson hope you were able to follow um, if you do find this video useful please do share with your friends till then and i speak to you again have a great day ahead